Hey, how's it going everybody? So this is day seven of my bone broth fast, and this is my summary of what I did so far for today on day seven. So if anyone watched the previous video, it was a bit longer than I wanted it to be, but it basically covers days one through six and, um, oh right, I could say if you click here, I will put a link to that video, and um, I'm trying this again. Feel pretty okay with what I did for my first video journal, and so today is going to be kind of the intended format that I wanted to do for my original journal entries, which is just one day explaining everything. So this is day seven, and. I gotta say, it's probably been one of the easiest days so far in this Bone Broth Fast. It feels weird because I kind of saw day 7 as a bit of a milestone in the sense that as of probably about an hour, it has been exactly 7 days since I had a solid meal and pretty much just been running off of coffee, apple cider vinegar, water, and bone broth. And surprisingly, I'm still feeling very good. I didn't feel any major hunger pangs today. I have read with different articles kind of going over this and then other people who have done prolonged fasts that either do involve bone broth or don't involve bone broth. And sometimes I've seen anecdotally that by the first week, things start to level off, so hopefully that's a good sign for what I'm feeling right now. Again, pretty excited that I was able to basically continue on my normal day at home, day at work, and not worry about needing to eat anything. So, the one thing I did notice today is that on day six yesterday, I got my potassium salts. So I decided to use them and basically my headaches have disappeared. So whether that's because I hit day seven or if that's because of the potassium salts, I'm not sure exactly, but the potassium salts seem to be helping. So basically I get this thing called new salt, which is a salt sodium substitute. That's just basically potassium chloride. And I still maintain pretty high salt levels throughout the day to keep myself from losing electrolytes that I'm normally basically going through as a part of this whole ketosis process that's manifested by the fast. And now instead of the usual 5,000 milligrams that I'm usually doing a day, roughly, I'm cutting that with half potassium salt and half of my regular sea salt. So getting the potassium chloride and getting the sodium chloride together, and that should hopefully address some of the fatigue issues that I was having earlier in the week. And it seems like it has. I didn't feel a really bad headache today. And uh, I'm assuming the potassium is going to be helping the rest of my muscles and my nerves and things like that. And I'm happy about that. And it was relatively easy to just, you know, every time I drink a cup of water, just put a little sprinkle of both in there and be okay with it. Threw it into my bone broth today as well. Uh, today, I didn't even need to put coffee, sorry, I didn't need to put butter in my coffee today, so it was actually kind of nice. I just had straight black coffee, which I'm not a coffee drinker. I don't, I never really liked coffee to begin with. I'm just taking instant coffee, throwing it in a cup with some hot water, and that's it. And I was able to have that no problem. Now, I did add some potassium salt in there just to see how it goes. I think salting my coffee is actually pretty beneficial for me. So I was able to drink that and have no problem. So I was happy about that. And um, today for my bone broth, I didn't do anything too crazy. Just had my standard bone broth with potassium salt and regular sea salt. But when I came home today, I tried again to mix kind of a few other things in my bone broth for the night. So I threw in my collagen peptides. I threw in my turmeric. I threw in some chili powder and I threw a little bit of the uh, Trader Joe's mushroom seasoning in there as well just to kind of give it a little more flavor 
and that was good. Now, I'm a little not sure about the mushroom seasoning. Not that there's anything bad with it, I just wasn't sure if that might just be kind of going overkill at this point. But that's okay, just trying to get some easy nutrients from herbs and spices while I'm doing this. So, I did that, and it was really tasty. So, whether that's good or not, we'll see how it goes. But I liked it. And something I started yesterday, which I think I'm going to continue doing, is around lunchtime, since, well, not really eating. I'm still going to go take a break, but what I started doing is I started just going on a two-mile walk. And I kind of like doing that, and I think I'm going to continue doing that. Because, well, I get tons of sunlight, which means I'm getting a lot of DA, D, um, vitamin D from that. And it's a mood booster by going for that walk. It gives me a chance to get a little exercise in, which, like cardio, is very beneficial while in ketosis. And burn off some more of those fat stores, hopefully. And I do like doing that. I think what I will do, though, is probably take my walking shoes with me and just change into those when I do my walk just because two miles in regular work shoes probably not the best thing to do so I'll make that change but yeah it's been pretty easy and straightforward and I'm happy to say that and I'm hoping this is more to come as we continue through this again the process is here I'm just gonna keep going until I feel like it and I have a can of salmon at my desk, ready to go as soon as I want to break this, but I feel good, and I think I'm just going to keep going with it. So that's about it. This was a pretty quick video. There's nothing really to really mention here, other than, like I said, I added the potassium salts to my water and anything else that I'm drinking, and surprised that black coffee was able to be down without any resistance or issues on my part so doesn't mean I'm gonna start liking coffee but I'm just glad that the simple easy source for some caffeine other than green tea was something that didn't make me what's the word not enjoy it um yeah oh I guess I will mention one thing so this is more of a whole package kind of situation where up until the seventh day now I have noticed that my teeth stay cleaner for longer so I'm you know still brushing twice a day and I'm doing like a little tongue scraping a little bit of flossing and things like that but I noticed that there isn't as much plaque buildup around my teeth as much as I used to have and I'm sure that there is a specific reason for that but I'm glad I know that typically people have been Sort of cited as having what they call keto breath. So far, I've been okay with that, and I don't know if that's from the nutrients I'm having, if that's because I just brush my teeth twice a day, and I also do a little tongue scraping and some mouthwash, but yeah, don't really have that, and I'm glad, glad that that's the case. So, mm, nothing too crazy there. I do plan on probably getting checked up by my doctor at some point in the future so curious to see how my results go i looked at my blood pressure today and it was 124 over 81 so pretty standard don't know whether that is expected or not but just a little extra metric to go by it and yeah that's it so pretty easy day seven and uh Hoping for the best for day eight. So, I guess this is the end of my journal entry, so I'll leave it at that. Thanks again.